Hey guys, welcome to day 13 of making a comic. I'm Chris and I'm extremely hot. Today is a horribly hot day in Melbourne. I think it nearly hit 40 degrees and we've had slight th storms and crazy wind and ugh, it's just gross. So, day 13, let's start. So first of all, I wanted to talk about these video diaries. As soon as I'm doing them every day, I've decided that doing the Wednesday video diary is pretty redundant because, well, I'm kind of just beating a dead horse with them. So I won't be doing the Wednesday video diaries, but I will still be doing the Fan Art Friday videos for those of you who watch. So I don't know how many people are actually watching this in comparison to the other videos, but uh, this is going to be taken over from those, at least until this is done, and then I'll just redo the uh, weekly video blog. Aside from that, Oh, sorry. Um, I think, yeah, that's going to be sort of the new schedule for it all. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So, I think this uh, video diary as well will become a bit more generalised, but mostly focused on the uh, comic book Nevermore. But, you know, I might talk about, you know, my day and stuff as well, uh, which I've probably already been doing, I just haven't noticed. So, yeah. So, to get things started... I have been doing a bit more sketching. Um, I'm not sure. For those of you on my Instagram, I printed out some stuff here for you guys to look at now. Um, this is some concept stuff I did a couple of days ago. I think it was on the Friday the other day. Um, just trying to get like an idea of different um, space outfits that I liked. So this guy here is definitely the winner for me. So I took that concept uh, this morning uh, when I got up. And I was just playing around with a few more ideas, just uh, different angles um, and some more detailed shots of, uh, you know, what's going to be on his uniform as well. You know, just the small things, like even just the clipping um, for his uh, backpack and, um, you know, his receiver here, um, which feeds in data from the spaceship, etc. Uh, just little bits and pieces that uh, might not be hugely important to the story, but I think it's nice to have have a bit of an understanding about what the character is and uh, you know what it is they're wearing or you know different accessories and why they have a purpose. So yeah, just been playing around with that and also last night I was just doing a bit more sketching in my sketchbook on the um, environments again. Still almost have, still haven't got it quite down how I want it, but I'm getting a better idea. Um, also this morning um, I talked about the other day how I was working on the logo. I sort of tried to have a go at finalising that logo, and look, I'm not happy with it, but I'm going to show you where it's at. Um, I think I'm going to redesign the whole thing, because now that I've seen it sort of finished, or just as a flat tone, I really don't like it, but um, that's that was what I had anyway. So, almost like a, tr um, similar to like a traditional tattoo font, um, you've got the spaceship, which is a part of the book there, um, and the planet that's landing on. Um, I don't know, I think it's too much and not enough at the same time. I think you need to be a little bit more subtle with what's on there, um, but at least you know, create a little bit of mystery as well. So I don't know if you've got any ideas, um, hit me up. Otherwise I'll be playing around with those maybe in the next day or two. Uh, today was my last day of work for the week, so uh, I've got the rest of the week to have a bit more of a play. So aside from that, I took myself down to the book exchange. There's a book exchange which is just behind the shop that I work in, uh, in Frankston. And I've been in there a few times, but I only ever usually bother looking at the novels. Um, I picked up a few last week, which I've been reading. But I've never sort of bothered to look if they had art books. And I thought, you know what? Maybe it's worth a shot. And it was definitely worth my while to have a look. I picked up a couple of books today. There's still some books there. I might say, hopefully, will be there next week that I can pick up once I get paid again. Uh, but I thought I'd show you guys. Now, this is some pretty sort of retro stuff back from the 70s and 80s, uh, and a little bit of 90s stuff as well. Um, these are artists that I wasn't familiar with, but I just picked up the books and I absolutely loved them. And very, very helpful and towards referencing what I'm trying to do now. So I grabbed them straight away, thinking, well, these are going to be great. Um, a great resource for me while I'm doing the book and as you can probably tell I've got a ton of books behind me um, I'm pretty sure there's like a whole section here all this is just all reference books all reference books so I love 
having them around, just picking them up and flicking through them and just developing ideas. So anyway, um, the first one I got was The Art of David B. Mattingly. And that cover alone sold me. I mean, instantly I thought, well, this is the book I need. And the art is just amazing. I mean, most of it's all hand-painted. I think he does some digital work as well. But my God, it's beautiful. And it does, it's got an entire commentary for all the pieces that he's done as well. So um, I haven't had a good read through it yet, but just reading some of the blurbs, man, like I feel like I'm learning just by looking at this thing, um, which most art books don't really do. Um, this guy really goes in depth as to why he's doing pieces and how he tried to make the each image, um, you know, draw your attention to certain focal points and yeah, if you find it, it's an awesome book. And the next one, I haven't had a good look through this one yet, uh, by Bruce Pennington, which is called Ashatus. I think Ashatus it's called. Um, again, sort of very similar topics. Um, as you can see there, just some real tricked out sort of stuff, bit of sci-fi world, uh, post-apocalyptic stuff. Uh, and I had a look through the blurb on it, and it's actually based on this artist took all the th um, prophecies from Nostradamus and adapted them into images that he thought would be, you know, essentially our future, what we have to look forward to. Um, and just looking at it, it's pretty grim. I mean, check that out. I mean, that does not look fun at all. So, yeah. I'm going to be having a big flick through these in the next couple of days and just getting some ideas. And, uh, yeah. Nice little treasure trove there, uh, book exchange. So if you're ever in Frankston, pop in. Uh, the dude who works there is awesome too. He rocks an eye patch and um, he's super nice and friendly. So I highly recommend checking them out. Otherwise, that's me for the day. I've got more work to do tonight. Still have that goal in mind of finishing all the layouts this week. But tonight, I think I might sit on the couch and actually write out everything. I've got my three acts and now I want to expand on those using what I've already got as far as my layouts are concerned and then adding on to that. Um, maybe if I've got it written down, it might be a lot easier for me to draw it out. I'll have an actual idea of what's going on. So, I kind of feel like I'm going backwards uh, and I've been doing this for, what I say, 13 days. But, it's a learning experience. Um, yeah, I've even been going back watching some of Kevin Cross's old making comics videos and they've been giving me some cool ideas as well. So, yeah, that's where I am. This is a longer video than normal, but probably what they're going to be like. Um, I'll try and do some shorter ones as well. If there's other stuff you want to see as well, let me know. Otherwise, have a good day.